YouTube fans, how's it going? Welcome to another episode here on Past Teacher Skin. We have a big new crate. Look at the size of this beast. Look at it. It's the Loot Crate DX. I remember last time I saw a Deluxe or DX on anything, it would have been Tetris DX and Zelda... Um, it was one of the Game Boy Color games, it was Zelda Link's Awakening DX. So DX is actually something that's... Oh, oh, it always... It gives me little tremors of excitement. Look at this with the handle and care. <laughs> the handle with care symbol. It's the size of my goddamn palm! Look at it! Look, I'm not a small-handed man! Look at this thing! It's a different angle! Right, let's take a look to see what's inside of it, though. Right? Oh. Right, okay. <laughs> so the DX, because of being the DX, obviously has a little bit more of a... a more elaborate opening technique to it. Let's get this peeled off and see what's on the inside of our wonderful little grit. Oh, okay. I'm gonna just reach in and start pulling things out randomly of the size. Okay, first thing we got is Loot Crate exclusive 20 sided chilling die. <laughs> oh man, these are for chilling your whiskey and your drinks. Um, metal dice. Uh, I, I, I have whiskey rocks, I do use whiskey rocks all the time. Oh, look at this. Oh, oh man. <laughs> these are about as big as mines. Yeah, you know what I'm implying by that, but oh, cool. It's actually, they are weighty, man. So, like, this box is pretty heavy as it is. I mean, I could probably use these as the 20 dice, no problem at all. But it's also the fact that they make pretty good Chinese warrior balls, just wearing them down. <laughs> okay, that's pretty cool. I'm actually a big fan of these. Okay. <laughs> I'm already off to, like, a giddy start because just by the fact that I know these things are actually, like, bigger, they just feel more impressive. Okay, well, reach in, grab someone else out. Um, right, so you can probably see from the top there. Pull it out on the side. We have an Adventure Time action figure! Loot Crate exclusive, Kid Robot. I'm... that's Finn and Jake in kind of like... weather gear? Oh, right! Huh, there you go, that's what it's meant to be. Finn and Jake. Well, Jake is actually a jacket over the top of a very angry looking Finn. <laughs> Puff Jake and Little Finn. Oh, okay, so it's like a Puff Daddy thing. Glow in, glow in the dark, Loot Crate exclusive. It's a bit odd for it to be a glow in the dark thing. That's gonna be a nice figure sitting in the corner of my room, though. I'm actually really impressed by that. It's a big figure, too. Nice. That's gonna be going up onto the shelf. All right, let's see what else is in here. Hmm. Oh. Oh, I'm just gonna grab some. Oh, there we go. Got something. All right, what is this? Clothing. That's a good sign. So, do you know what it means when we have the clothing, folks? You know where it goes. It comes out to the light. How's it going, guys? Nice to see you again. Thank you very much for coming back to Past Easter Skin to check out your Loot Crate goodness. Um, I'm really excited about this crate because the Loot Crate DX, um, it just it looks to me like a an impressive deal. I mean, it's that step above what most of the crates are doing, which is kind of like uh, reducing the cost as much as possible to put as much as they can into it, and then having to take an issue with quality on the things that are going into the box because of it. And um, it's, I can appreciate that there's the stress so that whenever they have, get the opportunity to do something a little bit different, they're going to do something a little bit different. This is another hoodie. Let's see, right? Let's wait, which way do you want to show this first? I want to show it the back first. This is a more Nintendo hoodie, but it's an official merchandise because it has the label on it. But check out that design. Zelda! It's a Zelda hoodie. Um, The only way this could be any better, well, it's actually, to be honest, I think it might be more of like a Shadow Link hoodie. Ah, <laughs> my own glasses off doing it. Anything that way this could be any better. Um, it also has a small logo in the front of it as well. You can see here. Let's take a proper look at the design. That's the same as the design that's on the back. The, the only way it could be uh, any better if it's actually been like a Link colors, like green or red or blue, you know, kind of the um, the many multitudes there is. But Shadow Link, still pretty impressive. It looks like it's a reasonably well made. It's the same as the previous Nintendo shirt that I got with um, the Loot Gaming crate. For it was uh, the Legacy crate had a Mario uh, design on it with a different. 8-bit characters on it. This one has a really nice kind of like felty kind of rubbery print that's uh, embossed on it. It's actually like it's uh, it's problem with these kind of designs they tend to like wash off a lot quicker but they um it's very well made uh very well put in. I think it's actually going to uh, look at the size actually the one that I got because I think I may have went oversized on this one because yeah oh no this one's exactly what I asked for 2XL um, 100% cotton uh, for washing. Uh, that's all the details about how to wash the damn thing. I don't know if I'm going to bring those out to you. So, official Nintendo licensed product. I'm excited to be wearing this. This is actually, this this looks good and it looks like it's going to be really comfy to wear. Um, I have a few kind of like long sleeve light hoodies like this 
uh, that I wear all the time, and you know what? It's good to have another one to go over the t to replace them because they always have to be in the washer zone. Wow, that looks nice. I want to put this thing on immediately, but let's just go back to the crate and see what else is in there. Okay, diving back in again. Oi! Oh, 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 oh. oh, yeah. Right, what is. Whoa! Okay. Uh, Lucre exclusive World of Warcraft lead free crystal snowball low ball glasses. Now that makes sense. Something to go with the uh, 20 sided chilling dice that they already have. That makes sense. Um, this is this does feel much more of a, an adult crate than the recent loot crates have been. That's um, those are those are nice. That's really nice. I don't mean those. Uh, they're just good. I like the design because it's actually a horde and alliance, isn't it? That's actually on the front of the glasses, but. Uh, just for the fact that it's like the kind of things I wouldn't buy myself ever, but I could see somebody buying them for me as like a big kind of geek gift. Those are actually quite heavy as well. <laughs> cool. <laughs> Can't say anything wrong with a pair of glasses for my house for me to drink. But uh, I bet it's not quite the same as drinking the blood of my enemies, like in the horn thing that I had from the uh, main crate, main loot crate of this month. Oh, I have to lean so far to get at this stuff. Uh, that was a spacer that was just sitting inside there. Uh, what else is sitting inside this crate that we can get reached at? Oh, yeah. have to, <laughs> I'm sorry guys, I have to lean so far because I have to actually angle the cameras to get so much closer to it. Right, what else have we got in here? Of course we have our Loot DX pin, which is massive compared to the normal pins that you get from Loot Crate. Uh, excuse me, it's because it's, again, uh, DX. So there's our quest pin for this month, a compass needles north, south, east, and west. I'm wondering what the... Um, Loot Crate DX kind of like pin exclusive item or whatever it is, you know, like the downloadables they tend to do with it. And what is this? Is this a single piece of art? No, there's a couple of these in here, so I'm gonna pop these open. There's a bunch of uh, concept art, it looks like, or fantasy art inside this uh, little folder. It looks like good quality prints and look reasonably well printed. Um, people I know who do photography and do prints of their stuff would probably agree or disagree, mattering on what they see now in a second, but. Come on, get out of the plastic, so I can take a look at you. First one being a... Oh no, there is just the one? Oh man, at this point I had to open that then. Wish I hadn't done that. Well, the only one piece of art that's in here. I don't know the artist, I've never seen this piece before, but it looks like... An impressive piece, just a dragon, a man attacking a dragon leaping off the top of the cliffside. I'm assuming this is probably something Skyrim-esque? I don't know. Or somebody at least doing inspiration by, but it looks pretty nice. It'd be a really nice piece for anybody who's like a real fantasy fan, but uh, doesn't doesn't tickle my boat. And the fact that it has a little symbol in the corner kind of just puts me off it a wee bit. But I don't care too much. It's not that big of a deal. So on to the next level loot crate um, pamphlet. I mean, even the pamphlet is printed better. I mean, if you know what I mean, kind of like the, you know, whenever you go to like a luxury brand or they have like a menus in a really high end restaurant that's a little bit different than. The ones you'd normally see, where it's like every item seems to be kind of like embossed into it and looks a little bit shinier. So, uh, Glow in the Dark, Adventure Time, Puff Jake and Little Finn. The Legend of Zelda jersey hoodie. And even dragons have their endings print, which is, oh, okay. Uh, named in honor of one of the biggest influencers on Quest stories, J.R.R. Tolkien. One of the pieces by frequent Loot Crate contributor, Mikhail Monbreno. Can only be found here. All right, so it's uh, one of the Loot Crate uh, artists piece of work that I show, and I love seeing that, I actually like, because they do so much work on the interior of the crates and on the designs of these logos and all the uh, artwork that goes around, especially because they are Loot Army one I really do enjoy because we, we have Loot Chan and Rival Chan now for those. Um, what else do we have in there? Set of World of Warcraft low ball glasses from MTN Industries, D2, D20 chilling dice, and um, of course Compass may guide you on your right path for the pin. Uh, Greetings fellow travelers and welcome to Loot Crate DX Founder Crate. We're kicking things off by celebrating life's sometimes unexpected adventures with Quest, and we've included the glasses for the toast. Uh, the toast at the end whenever you've actually finished your quest. Fair enough. Uh, it, it feels like an adult credit content, and I'll just show you the actual leaflet here because it looks a little bit different than most of the other Loot Crate ones. Now, it doesn't do the articles, it doesn't do the, uh, the theming, it doesn't do all those things that I personally... I think they might be purposefully branding this as actually being like, this is the one for the parents, while the other one's going to be for the kids and the teenagers. 
Uh, this is kind of like you buy things for your home that'll be in this that actually look nice or whatever. It's, it's an expensive crate, but it looks cool. Um, on the back they have a loot crate directory of just all the different things, which includes a Spotify playlist, uh, digital activities, and how to, well, their, their own YouTube channel, but no, you don't want to be looking at that, you want to be looking at mines, which is, of course, pastiche of skin. This is um, a decent crate, I like I like the contents, um, there's nothing for me to unfold from the interior of it. Just to sh I'm just going to hold this up and show you how big the bastarding thing is, because, look, the, the, look at this! It's big enough to actually be in a corner onto itself just in the video. This is huge! Uh, if every crate is this size, I'm looking forward to seeing what's going to be in it. Um, I've been disappointed by Foundry crates before. I'm not disappointed by this one at all. I'm actually liking the content. I'm loving the piece of clothing. Um, the figure in it the, is nice, tall, solid looking one. Admittedly, I would have preferred if it hadn't been a glow-in-the-dark figure. If it had been just a painted and printed one. Because glow-in-the-dark figures are fun, but they don't look the best at any other time except for at night. And even then, at night, they just stand out amongst everything else on your shelf. So, um, yeah, um, I'm happy with the glasses. I, the, my personal favorite out of the whole crate is the chilling dice. Um, one, they'll be, they, they will probably be used at some game that I'm playing where I'm just going, fuck you, I brought my own D20 and throw it down on the table to be a dick. Um, probably not a glass table anyway. But the um, the actual guy, the chilling, having chilling rocks for my drinks, I actually do, I'm one of those people who do those kind of things. Uh, so instead of having ice cubes, I can use these to chill my drinks and they'll last for a good wee while. That's, that's pretty cool. It's a, a nice, nice, unique kind of uh, adulty little gift. Although, admittedly, putting, dropping a heavy metal dice into a cold, like a cold metal dice into a glass, very likely to shatter them. So, um, I'm a little bit concerned about the weight of them. If been rocks, whiskey rocks, probably would have worked a little bit better. So, stone's a little bit lighter. But yeah, still good hefty uh, haul for this month's loot crate, DX. Um, I'm happy to have it. I'm looking forward to getting the next one. And I hope to see cool shit in every single one. I was... The one thing I'm a little bit disappointed in in this crate is that I think I was expecting the next month's crate, the power crate, which was, um, it has the implication that there's a Mega Man or Capcom items coming in it, and I'm, I'm looking forward to seeing what it is, because even whenever they advertise the Crate DX, they had a little Mega Man figure, and he's one of my favorite characters growing up. I'm really looking forward to seeing if he's going to be in the, ne in the next crate. So uh, if, they, if they go as far as having like the full Mega Man helmet, that'd be ridiculous. But uh, I love it. looking forward to seeing what kind of stuff they have. So um, yeah, guys, that's this is Loot Crate DX. Uh, this has been Passage of Skin. I love you guys. Hopefully you love me. And I hope you actually like, comment, and subscribe, and share this shit around as much as you possibly can. And I will see you all in the next video. Bye-bye.